most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, another short video. We're just going to talk about how to load the dishwasher versus doing dishes with back pain or sciatica. Right. So we'll talk about the dishwasher first, and then we'll t show what you do on the sink. Right. If you're going to go ahead and use the sink. So this is a, another one of these situations where we'd actually have you prefer to have you have someone else do this for you. Right. Avoid it because you're going to be bending forward if you forget about doing your good body mechanics or if you're in a flare up, it's going to be tough. Yeah. You know, it's and, a, and we, anytime you flare up the back, it takes a little bit longer for the nerves to calm down. Right. So we're trying to avoid those pain makers. But let's say you're you're stuck and you got to do it. So we're going to have you borrow we're going to borrow your imaginations here. We don't have a dishwasher yep. in our studio. So we're going to go ahead and this is going to be our dishwasher. Now the problem with this is there's almost no way you can open up the door and keep your back straight without turning and bending. Right. Uh, so what we're going to need to do is have you get down on your knees. Do you mind if I do this? Brad? Oh yeah. So now, we realize probably most dishwashers flop, flop open out that this way, way right. but you'll just bear with us. Yeah. The, the, the concept's the same. A pillow on the floor often helps. Right. Be, uh, it's best if you get down on both knees, actually. Sure. And use your countertop to help lower yourself down. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get down like this. We'll open the, our little dishwasher up here. Now, what I would do is I would put the dirty dishes up on the counter first. Right. Get it organized. Yeah. Get it all organized, all ready to go. You're going to pull out the, we're going to really push your imaginations to the limit here. So I'm pulling out the rack. <laughs> now, one thing I do want to mention is for the upper rack, when you pull that out, you may be able to do that standing. So Good point. Put, put all the heavier, heavier dishes on the upper rack that fit, and then the lighter ones would go in the bottom. And actually, what you could do is do two loads and just use the upper rack, and you know sure. that's an option. That's an option too. Not efficient, but and it maybe cost you a little more. But right, hey, you gotta, you know, you gotta do what you have to do when you have back pain. Right. So you're in this position now. You're in a good position to help load the dishwasher. Now, can you put like, can't put plastic cups and stuff in the lower rack? Can you? I do. Oh well, I, I don't. My, my I, wife keeps yelling at me I that I can't. Uh, well, I don't know. I haven't read the directions yeah. that thoroughly, but they come out fine and they're not melted. Well, or we'll nothing. have somebody make comments on that if, that if that's wrong. But you can see now, I can keep my back supported. I'm holding on to the yep. counter. I'm staying in a, a, a straight position the entire time. All right. And then we can push it in. Now, re reverse is you're going to want to do the same thing when you when you when it's all clean. You're going to want to get down in the same position, pull it out, and then put stuff on the counter. Yep. You don't want to do one thing at a time. You'll stand up, you get down, get everything all lined up here and get ready to go. But this is the, the safe way. This is actually similar to actually loading, uh, a, doing laundry. Sure, dryer. right. And so You know, if you have knee problems and you're unable to get down to your knees like this, I would strongly suggest there's always the old-fashioned way to do them in the sink. And that's what we're going to talk about next. Oh, right? good. When we good. talk about that. Excellent. So when you're doing it in the sink, one thing that we used to recommend, we did a back program when I worked at Mayo Bread. And sure. We'd recommend take getting two tubs. So you take one tub and you, to raise it up a little bit, especially if you're tall like me. Right. Now your height, maybe you're fine with, with a sink. You're not leaning over as much. Well, it know. still helps. Even a few inches makes a big difference. So yeah, what you do is you take one of the tubs and put it upside down yep. and then put the other tub on top of it. So we're talking about those plastic tubs. The plastic tubs. They don't cost that much. You can get them at, you know, most boxes yeah. or online. For um, hardly anything now. Right. So you fill that top tub up then with water and you'll feel that'll be raised then. Right. So as long as it's steady, because you don't want to have it slipping it's off. It's steady, <laughs> and you got to be able. To, a lot of times, you have two sinks, so you can pour it off into the other sink. Right. Otherwise, it's right. It's a whole thing. Yeah. So you, you got to so, use your ingenuity a little bit with that. The other thing that helps sometimes with some people with some back problems, it helps for them to open the lower cabinet. Mm -hmm. Do you want to show that, oh, Brad? Right. So if if I was doing my dishes here and wash and wash, you put it on. Open this up so you can put one foot up. 
And then every few minutes you can change position. And a lot of times that can relieve stress on your back and you'll feel it uh, right away immediately as you shift. And it allows you to get a little bit closer to the dishes. Too, exactly, so that's a good a point. Bit easier, so. Right. Again, with all of this, you want to make sure the back's in the locked in position, which means you have kind of an arch in your back. Yeah. You might have to tighten up your, your abdomen at times. You may have to adjust the arch in your back sure. if, if you're having troubles, but do it s safely so you don't have any pain when you're doing the dishes. Yep. So thanks for watching.